Are you tired of using Excel filters? Well, I know I certainly am. It's way too much clicking and there are so many alternatives. That's the purpose of this series. We're looking at alternatives to filtering in Excel. In the first video, we looked at DSUM. What did you think about that? In this video, we're going to look at a cool visual, a visual alternative to filtering in Excel. You are going to love it. But if we're meeting for the first time, I'm Chris Mortimer. I'm an Excel content creator, lecturer, real world consultant, and I love demystifying Excel for people like you, getting you using the powerful stuff. Before we get into the demo, let me tell you quickly about my Excel cheat sheet. This is absolutely free. It's a one page PDF download and it tells you the 13 techniques, 21 formally, you really need to know in Excel these days, it's gonna simplify your Excel learning. With that said, let's get into the demonstration. So make sure you download the download file and work along with me. So this is the kind of question that we're looking at to answer specifically where you're summing up values from the visible rows. How many times have you done that in Excel? Typically, people will put the filters on. You can see we've got the filters on here and then look at the bottom of Excel to give us a value just like this. So we can see it says sums at the bottom, that's summing up the visible rows and you can manipulate the filters to do that. In the last video, we looked at DSUM. In this video, we're gonna look at something even cooler. First, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the filters, alt A T on the Windows PC, the filters I've got. Now we've got to select the whole data set. You can go control shift right, control shift down, but thank you to the YouTube viewer who taught me the shortcut control shift and asterisk. This is a one key way to select the whole data set. Thank you to that viewer. So you've got the data set selected. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put a pivot table into the file. No, not pivot tables, don't worry. I'm a little bit scared of pivot, pivot tables too. And I know some of my customers specifically request not having pivot tables in the file, but we're gonna do a very simple application of a pivot table right here. Make sure you've selected all the data, inserts, tables and then pivot table go ahead and click pivot table we get the pivot table dialog box we can see because we've pre-selected our data it's selected already then go for new worksheet and this is going to go ahead and create the pivot table hit okay then we get the intimidating pivot table interface don't worry we're not going to do too much interacting with this just a few steps so make sure you're working along with me so what do we want to appear in the pivot table well we've got to ask ourselves the question what are we fil filtering by we can go back to our original question here we're filtering by home team uh, beagle at home and then home win odds of one to two we've also got this odds category column and that might be useful so probably home we want to filter by odds category we want to filter by and then the returns home win column that's what we want to actually sum up so always be clear what you're trying to do before you start trying to manipulate the pivot table interface because it can quickly become a nightmare so go ahead click home and we want to filter by home teams just as you would if you're doing this manually using excel filters then what else do we need we want this home odds category we're going to want to filter by that. Again, think about the concept of filtering by those two criteria, which is what we would have done if we'd done it manually. And finally, returns home when we also want to include this. And Excel has automatically put it in the right place because we want to return the values. We want Excel to sum up the values from that column. So what do we got? Excel is saying 3.4 here. Now, we haven't done any filtering yet. So what's happening? There's no filters at all. Excel is turning is returning the value for the whole data set. We can go ahead and clear out the DSUM criteria, and we've got the same result here, and we can confirm that and build confidence in it by going control shift down here, going to the bottom of Excel, and I can see it says 3.14. So we've done the same thing three different ways. That's a great thing, to, great way to test things in Excel and build confidence. So Excel slices. What about Excel slices? If you're not using slices, you are missing out. Okay, make sure you've selected one of these cells at the top of the pivot table. We're gonna to go to pivot table, analyze in the top right, and then here it is, insert slicer. Are you ready? We can choose which slice, which columns we want to apply slices to. So again, we're thinking, which columns are we interested in? Which columns do we want to filter by? We wanna filter by home, and we're gonna filter by Odds category. Talk more, talk more about that column uh, before the end of the video. We can hit OK. And then what about this? 
Excel auto auto generates this beautiful visual interface. It allows us to just click on these nice visuals and those filters will be automatically applied to the table. How about that? Game changing stuff. I absolutely love slices. So for example, let's just go for Beagle and we've returned a, a, a value there of 13.92. So let's go ahead and prove it. Let's prove it by doing the same thing in DSUM, being very careful about the spelling with DSUM and I can see DSUM formula has returned a value of 13.92 there. So let's start building up towards this question that we're trying to answer. So Beagle at home with odds of more than one and less than two. So quickly, let's talk about the odds category column. Now, the reason I put this odds category column in is because slices don't work too well where you have continuous data. So where you've got numerical data, lots and lots of values, slices are just going to represent every number in that data set. It's not going to be particularly useful. So you need some kind of categorization categorization. Let me know in the comments, what formula did I use to categorize these odds? Let me know in the comments. I'm happy to, to demonstrate that in the next video. So we need that categorization column. We can then use that categorization column with the slicer to get exactly what we need. It's as easy as this. I'm just going to click on this slicer and we've got 6.42 here, but we never believe it. We always test it to build confidence. So Let's go ahead and let's manipulate our DSUM uh, configuration area here to get the same result. And you can see with DSUM, we can add additional columns if we want to put more than one criteria on a particular column that gives us the same result, 6.42. We've got it two different ways and you can go ahead and ahead now, do it manually with filters as well. So what do you think? What do you think about slices? Go ahead, have a little play, and let me know in the comments what you think. I would absolutely love to hear your opinion on Excel slices. And before we go today, don't forget, you can go ahead and download your absolutely free Excel cheat sheet. I've boiled it down to what you actually need to know in Excel. And a few of the things you don't need to know in Excel, it's all the stuff I actually use in real-world projects. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.